What's up, bros? Been meaning to do an update video on the truck. The last time I did the video was two years ago and is a lot different than it looks like right now. Um, back another one, it have I think still the 20s and a lot of different things. So I'm gonna do a real quick video and show you guys the differences so far. I'm still gonna add some things, but here's what I got over the years. First things first, I got a chrome overlay in the front. As you can see, that chrome part, um, I don't know, probably like 65 bucks. I also replaced the headlights. They're aftermarket, but I got them looking like the um, OEM style. Just got those replaced about last year. I also ended up getting the color matched um, front end caps, as you can see right there. Um, I also have, I think, 5,000K LED headlights on the front and 6,000K LED headlights on the bottom. It might be actually reversed. I think I got the 6K up here and the 5,000 up there most noticeably as you'll see i now have 24 inch texas replicas you can see right there texas editions with sitting on nexon tires 295 35 r 24 xl um, also i recently replaced my front struts got those from mocha brand it's like some ebay brand um, also sitting on i actually just installed a 2.5 front spacer in the front by supreme suspension um got that installed a few just recently a on the front i also have you can't really see but i have new drilled and slotted rotors so i got those installed i think last year too still got the westing bars donated by my brother um last time i didn't have the um chrome door handle so now it matches with the mirror cap also donated uh, by my brother the window tint, still limo tint. Um, nothing really changed in the back. It's still stock level. Um, also, the back, I still have the, the Bach Tornell couple cover. As you can see, I had that in a previous video. That's about everything I have um, installed from the rear. This is still the same. Um, now the inside, a little, some differences in the inside. Um, you still got the floor mats donated. The neat thing here is I now have the JBL component set 6.5 installed in the front. And I have the also, I had to get a custom adapter to fit the 6.5 component or no coaxial um, JBLs in the rears. So now we got 6.5 inch here instead of 525 and the 6.5 um, also over here component set. Um, as you can see here, I'm trying to get that fixed. And I still have, I don't know if I had this back in another video, the uh, custom Chevy box um, dual sub box. As you can see, I do have, you can't see, but I do have two Sundown Audio shallow mount subs down firing on the, we're using a Kenwood 2000 watt amp, the KAC 9106D. Um, the mono class d mono um got this installed by one of my friends as you can see the distributed block right there running the door amps i have the kenwood exelon xr um 400-4 pretty decent amp and i got everything mounted as you can see right there looks pretty clean just a little dusty um that's about all the upgrades i still have the basic stereo um the kenwood what is it dpx 501 bt been meaning to upgrade that one but i just love that it has the color match option to match my speedometer so i haven't really had the need to uh upgrade that one but i am gonna upgrade that one to some kind of monitor here i want to keep it kenwood but um you know i'm just gonna get the best option i initially wanted it to be um gps but you know what i just figured it's not probably the best one i also am i have a replacement for um toilet paper i have replacement for uh this right here so i've been needing to install that one as well future installs is probably going to be that because i already have that i also already have the color match door handles and the color match um mirror cap also i already have the color match front air um, bumper part of that, that I'm going to upgrade to and then initially eventually I will end up looking for the 
color match split grill LTZ model front end. Um, to go with the rear, lastly, I will end up, nothing different here, but I will end up changing these chrome um, to the color match options eventually. But yeah, let me know what you think. That's about it. Two years difference. Still gonna end up also taking out the stock spacer in the back and putting on a two inch so it can finally be a level legit level um lift kit as you can see right there but let me know what you think still some more things to put on it